Mobility is a broad field. It's not just about designing vehicles or designing cars. It's about designing how people will move in the future. What we've been seeing is that urbanists and vehicle designers actually were living in completely separate worlds, but yet they had to design parts of the future. And the result that we noticed is that when um, architects or urbanists uh, make visions for the future, they don't really have a clue what is happening on the side of the vehicle designers and the technology that they're using. While on the other hand, the vehicle designers, they are creating fantastic drawings, but they have no clue about the type of ambience that the vehicles will be used in in the future. And we're very happy now to be able to coordinate mass course and transdisciplinary design, because in a way what we have been doing here in the studio has always been at the least multidisciplinary. And now take this one step further and almost to transcend those different disciplines and becoming something new, which is mobility design. It's super exciting now to further evolve that in the context of the master, in the contact with all these people, different students coming from different parts of the world, each one bringing his point of view, his competence inside. Now, some examples of what we do in that ecosystem are, for example, the car we designed for Lightyear, a solar car, a car which has solar cells integrated in the vehicle that, together with the ultra-efficient design, allow people to move in a very, very sustainable way. A second example is the app we designed together with WeGlass, an app that allows people with reduced mobility to improve their mobility in the city, in the buildings, and so forth. But for Liège, for example, a city in Belgium, we developed a mobility plan for 2050. So looking into the future and looking how we can improve mobility for all those living in the city using new means and new technologies. We, we bring in a lot of experts in a lot of different disciplines that function as, as the fuel uh, of, uh, of the fire that, um, that, they, that they are creating. And I think it's, it's nice also in doing. So it's not only uh, sitting in class and listening uh, yes. to someone who presents something on a PowerPoint presentation. It's really going out and doing and discovering. And that's basically the way, the way to do it. Yeah, that's why we don't speak about classrooms, right? We speak about studios. There are challenges basically everywhere um, because there are so many disciplines involved. But I think one of the, the most challenging aspect that unites everything is trying not to create a fantasy of the future, but really something realistic that is embedded in a future that is still to come. Because this is a journey to go together to an unknown destiny, but a destiny which for sure is super important for the future of society.